Welcome back to the basic series. I'm Gemma and today I'm showing you how to do spreadable butter. Now, if I told you how many times we've done this video in the last three weeks, you wouldn't believe me. We have had quite a few technical issues getting spreadable butter on up here, but today's the day. This is going to be this is going to be fine. So, let's get started. So, I have started off with a block of Norco salted butter. Now, I love Norco products because I grew up in Casino and Norco was um, our local cooperative um, that supports farm, local farmers and all that kind of stuff. I love buying Australian made. So when I seen the Norco butter at my local IGA, I was very excited and I wanted to make it into a nice spreadable table butter that spreads straight from the fridge. So what do we have to do? All you need to do is pop your butter into your Thermomix. So just straight from the fridge is fine. Give it a give it a chop up. Now I'm actually using my spreader from the kitchen toolkit that you can get at the moment um, when you get a Thermomix. So the kitchen toolkit's a really cool thing and this is a really cool spreader as well. So Look, you just want to put this into chunks, like literally just so just enough for the Thermomix to be able to grab a hold of. Right, yeah, in it goes. There we go. And we want to weigh in our oil. So this is not, I'm not in a recipe. I'm just doing this freestyle. So I'm going over to my scales and I'm just going to pour some grapeseed oil in. Now, you can use whatever oil... Uh, you like. It doesn't have to be grapeseed oil. It could be macadamia oil, anything that you don't mind the taste of. What, probably best to have a light flavoured oil because you don't want your butter having a taste too much. But grapeseed oil is really good. It's light flavour and I like it. Now, I was aiming for 100 there. <laughs> so about 50 grams per 250 gram block is good. So 500 grams, about 100 is all you need. You can actually have a look at it when it when we process this. If you think, oh no, I'd actually like it a little bit more spreadable, just add a little bit more oil. That's all you have to do. So then you just go back to home, pop your lid on, and we're just going to go to about speed five. Probably about 10 seconds. You can hear when it's sort of ready. So that's eight seconds. Let me have a little look at it after eight seconds. Okay, so see how, how that looks? So you can see that it's all kind of combined. I'd actually like it a little bit more. You can still see a few little sort of lumps in there. I want it to be really nice and smooth. So I'm just going to give that a little scrape and I'm going to just go for a couple more seconds up to the my speed five. You can have a little peek in as well. And you can sort of see when it's really nicely whipped is when you want to pull it out. I reckon that's good. So we're up to 23 seconds altogether now. So let's have a look at that. Oh, see, that's perfect. Can you see how that's got the nice... Yeah, that's what you're aiming for. Radio. So now all you need to do is transfer that into your containers. It's got about the same consistency now as like a margarine, like it's really smooth, but obviously when you pop that back in the fridge, it will go a little bit harder, um, but it will still be able to be spreaded with a, spreaded, with a <laughs> butter knife. So just, I, I recommend popping it into little containers. So I'm gonna do a couple of little containers of it. And then you can actually pop this one in the freezer and start on your other one. And then when it's finished, you can grab a fresh one out of the freezer and then there's no chance of your butter going off either so then you just pop it in like that so that's your little container of spreadable butter pop your lid on and there you go there's your spreadable butter spreadable straight from the fridge thanks so much and i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching our series of cooking experiences please subscribe hit the notification to know when we load new videos and don't forget to like and share. And if you do have any questions at all, 
just chuck them in the chat and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks and see you next time.